June 15th, 2013. It's a little bit windy today. It's Father's Day. There is a storm approaching from the west. Uh, right now we have partly cloudy skies. We get breaks of blue and then we get some ominous looking clouds. We're going to go in and take a look at how all our hives are performing. At this point there's the hive we have here in the foreground. The one in the two deep configuration right behind it, the stack, and then the one behind it sitting over there is actually two hives with a divider box. There's an entrance out the front and an entrance out the back. And then over across the way you're looking, there's another hive sitting out on a platform. That's a recent swarm that was captured. So the objective today is to take a look at all these and see how they're doing before the rain shows up here in about an hour and a half. Not the best day to be doing this, but we'll see how this works out. Um, and here comes Tiger to join me. So let's get to work. Just smoked this hive a little bit. What this is is a nucleus hive that was divided, took a couple frames out of the big stack hive and put it in with a queen cell and you can see all the bees are centered right here in the middle. So we're going to open it up and look and see if they have an operational queen yet. So as we look at this cell, you can see that this was the capped brood and right there in the middle is a queen cell. It's capped, ready to go. We gave them this as uncapped. There's another one up here just to the side. See if I can find it in the viewfinder. And what you're looking at is you have unhatched and partially hatched brood here. So they've got a queen cell. It's going to take a while for this hive to get going. You can see I have a queen cell right there also in the middle and one up here. Let's see if I can point these things out. There's one right here. Excuse me girls. And there's another one over here. So this hive has what's left of its brood that we gave it is hatching out and nurse bees taking care of whatever they have and they're waiting for their queen to arrive. So we're going to put it back together and let it keep going about its business. Now for the first time this year we see a lot of bees in this box. I've not seen that at all. To be expected I suppose. It's had a lot of brood and it's taken a while for this queen to get going, but finally I see frame after frame of, of bees, which is not something we've seen in this hive at all. What I just did there was smoke to the left over here and over here so I could reach in and grab these frames and know that I'm not going to pinch somebody when I'm getting on the ears. And finally, our queen has done a nice job here. Full pattern, brood. Everything is completely covered all the way down. That's a beautiful pattern right there. Look at that. Gorgeous pattern of brood from this queen. This queen has been so slow to lay all year long. And finally, she shows some gumption. So that's great. And I'm hoping the next one looks good too, so I can see some brood on the next one. And that explains why there's a lot of bees in this box finally. And again, full patterns. Beautiful. Who knew this queen had it in her? And I look here and I see bees with full pollen baskets. There's one right here. Very cool. So this hive is actually looking pretty darn good. That's frame number two of brood. Surprise they're not more fussy. Frame number three, this one's a lot hatched out. Looks great. Again, all kinds of brood. Don't see the queen. This queen is marked in here, so she's pretty easy to find. Huge brood. Perfect. Love what I'm seeing in here. That's very exciting about this queen. 
Thought she was a dud and she's finally come through. It just needed to get a little prep. Another frame of brood. So the question is, what's the bottom box look like? How crowded is it? And I feel a raindrop on me. Hmm. Wow, that's an exciting find to see this hive doing so well. I don't see any small hive beetles. Pollen, nectar, looks very good. And this one is empty. And not too long ago I put in here a drone brood frame. And they started to build it out. And I would assume if this hive starts to take off because of the number of bees they have, that that will be a good way to go. So I'm actually going to move that up to slot number three to encourage them to build that. So this top box gets good marks. Now I'm taking all the frames that I'm sliding together and instead of sliding one, 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 I'm on the last one and I'm sliding them all together. And I'm going to make sure that I get all those shoulders tight so that they maintain the bee space and they're not building they're not building propolis and making this hive tight. So this box looks really, really good. And I'll tell you what I see. I've got pollen on top of all the frames. They're really going to town here. That's just great news for this hive. We're in the middle of June and this is about the time frame when the pollen and nectar starts to fall off. So they've got a couple weeks left of really good forage before it starts to dry up and they're taking every advantage of it which is great because last time we looked in this hive it just did not look like it was performing very well. We're just going to take a quick look downstairs and see what they have and the good news is like the top I see a full box of bees. Just going to smoke them down. I'm curious to see if the queen is going to be down here. These girls don't seem very happy that I am uh, in their home. You've got a different tone down here in the bottom box. Got some honey storage and some pollen. I'm looking to see if the brood has made it down here. That's kind of what I'm really interested in finding. Big heavy pollen or uh, nectar frame. And capped honey, you can see they're working on it, all new. Very nice. Really would make sense to change this box and put the brood on the bottom. I think I might do that before I get done here. Again, new wax. Not much down here. I guess what this is, is I see nothing much more to look at. These are the bees passing through this box to go upstairs. So really, I'm just going to close it up. I'm going to take it off and I'm going to switch these boxes. I'm going to put the brood in the bottom and I'm going to put this storage container up. Just a little more smoke for these girls. Calm them down some. I have Danny helping me. So Danny, I'll hold this box. If you could pick that one up and put it on. Okay. Let's close up shop here and let these girls get to work. 135 is the weight, 135. Okay, let me come back to you. smoke a lot of activity here let's see what we got going on
first thing I see, I got all kinds of little critters on the top. I'm not sure what they are. And I've never seen that before. Let's see if I can get you a close up of you it. You can see these little bugs, whatever they are. There were probably 120 of them on the cover here. Let's go down and see if we can get a close up of one running away. So they scattered as soon as we took it off. I'm not sure what they're about. Wow, that's a lot of bees. Even the inner cover tells the story. And there is the queen right there up on top. Picked her right out. She is right here. I don't know if you can get a shot of her, Danny. Yeah, I got her. On the inside of the inner cover, walking around. So we're going to put this back together. And I can tell you right away, we're going to need to put another box on this. So before we wander out of here today, we should go get another one and put them up because they are loaded. Okay, so we got a lot of girls in this box. Just found the queen right off the bat. I'll give a little bit of smoke. We're going to literally give them two boxes to work with. This box is chock full of a workforce. I'll tell you what, Dan. You want to brush them in? No, I'm going to lift this up. You put that box on. Gently. And put the second one on. It is? Yeah. That's okay. The one with the weird side. Yep, I know. Good, put it up there. Right, give them a few minutes to go back in. My queen is right here on the top, so we want to make sure she gets inside. You look here, we have uh, an inner cover full of bees, and we come right in, and who's sitting on the inner cover? But the queen. Got a good shot of her walking around here, Her Highness. The queen was up here on the inner cover with all the bees. It was totally covered with bees a moment ago. We cracked it open and she walked down inside the hive. And now you can see all the bees are scenting to indicate that she went inside and all the bees are going in. Slowly but surely they're going inside. Still scenting over here. Okay, this is actually deceiving. This is not one hive, this is two hives. This box in the middle has a screen on the top and a screen on the bottom. I'll show it to you in a second. It has an opening in the back and the top box, which has 
just a couple frames of brood and some queen cells in it a couple weeks ago, 10 days ago, has a back opening. So you see all these bees back here? They're using this back entrance. The bottom box, painted like a cow, is using the front entrance. So I'm gonna do an inspection on this back one. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of smoke in it. Let them know I'm coming. You may come around. No, you good. As we're going, we got a little bit of a drizzle. It's funny because there's an overcast sky with no rain clouds, but feeling a little drizzle here. Just gently gonna take this top off and set it over here, out of the way, so I'm not gonna kick it. Can I kick it? Yes, I can. A little bit of smoke, just to let them know I'm coming. You can see this first frame is empty, nothing here, just foundation, that's okay. Now what I had is frame of brood, a frame of brood, maybe some honey and pollen, and somewhere in there there was a queen cell or two. That's what this queen, that's what this box started out with a little bit ago. And as you can probably tell in the video, it's extremely windy, and um, Every time I try and smoke, it's blown away. This frame feels a little bit heavy, and that's why we've got some nectar and pollen stored in it. Just taking my time, not smashing any bees. Now what I have here is brood. And I have queen cells. Not only do I have queen cells, get a shot of this, Danny. I got a bee working in the queen cell right here. She was just head in. And do I have any larvae in there? Gotta get the sun, I do not. So not sure what she's doing in there, but that's fascinating. We're gonna look and see if we have a queen. And I do see new larvae in here, so Something's going on in here. So we gave this one a queen cell on the cusp of being launched. So it could be that she's out and she's already back and, and laying. cells all over the place and I have a couple capped ones if you could see them Danny there's one right here and there's one over here so when we gave them this this is what we gave them look there's one here and here so nobody's excited in here I'm gonna look and see if we have a queen. It is possible that she's emerged and she hasn't torn those down yet. I don't see any. Now if you had brood and stuff from your other hives, you could split and take these queen cells and make yourself a number of queens. Number of hives, a number of splits, you'd be good to go. Here I have a little bit of brood that's been hatched out and they're stacking nectar and pollen in them. And I still have some uncapped brood. And I have lots of uncapped brood here. So this is interesting. I must have a queen in here somewhere. 
because this stuff is all too new for it not to have a queen. Very interesting. Given the fact that there's a storm coming, I'm, I'm uh, happy that these girls are pretty calm with me. There's some brood. Not finding a queen yet. All nectar stored in these hive frames, and I got empty on the outside. So let me do this one more time. I'm going to look really closely for a queen in here now as I go back through and put this together. I got nothing but foundation on the last one, number nine. Number eight, I got honey. Now I'm going to look for my queen again. No queen. Got a little bit of capped brood hatching out here. I see drones inside. I got nectar and pollen stored throughout on these outer frames to be expected. Frame number six, covered with pollen capped on the top. Pollen and nectar is expected. This side is completely empty, except for a little bit of nectar storage. Frame number five, no queen yet. Big queen cell, left side middle. Larvae uncapped, C-shaped, pearly white, looks good. Nectar up on the top, nectar stored throughout. Also see pollen, no sign of a queen here. Gonna be very close and look. Make sure I'm not rushing through this. No queen, but larvae here. Let me see if I can show that. Danny, can you get into that? Is it possible to see? Let's see a little bit here. Another big fat queen cell on here. No sign of a queen on this face. No sign of a queen on this one either. See anything? No.
window clean there. You see a mite on a bee? I thought I did. I don't know where it went. Who's in this area? I don't know. The bee's walking on my legs. <laughs> okay, let's put it together here. Am I missing a frame? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You gotta push them over there. Okay. Alright, let's put the cover back on. You want the notch or not? Yeah. It's okay, they can come out the top. So here what I'm doing, I'm, I'm scraping this propolis off of this, this hive. It was uh, flipped over the other way and it hasn't been scraped off. And when you put the top cover on, the inner cover is sticking to the top cover. Do not throw this stuff on the ground. Put it in a little plastic bag, take it with you and get it cleaned up. But this will help keeping the uh, cover from sticking to this. Give you what I got. Oops, that's not good. Subsequently, if it's on the inner cover, you gotta do that too. Or the inside of the outer cover. Lest it stick there. Yeah, go gentle on it. They'll glue whatever they can together. Okay, let's take a peek at what we got going on here. And I'm gonna do this real quickly. Uh, Danny, can you man the camera? Yep. You gonna, what are you gonna do, you gonna take this off? I'm gonna take the, the top box off, the top box, and show what this thing looks like underneath. All right, so you're gonna put this down. It's okay, I'm gonna hold it up in the air while I All do right. it. All right. All right, ready? Yeah. This two hive configuration has one hive, a center box with two screens, and a top hive with a back entrance out behind it. I'm gonna pick the top box off so you can see what it looks like and also show you that back entrance. So as you can see the way this works, the bees are coming in from the back through here and up into the hive. This hive, that's on this box and the hive below can't touch each other, but they can share the heat and they do share their scent. So I'm gonna put it back together. Towards you, this way. And you can see how that works. So let's go take a look at this bottom box, which will confuse the top box for a little bit, but that's okay. I'm gonna bring in. I smoked them, but it didn't do anything because there's no smoke. <laughs> it's blowing away from the wind. Frame number two, lots of nectar. Nectar and pollen, frame number two. Frame number three pretty much empty and nectar capped honey up on the top going for frame number four heavy frame <laughs> batch of brood nectar stored some uncapped larvae 
uncapped larvae and some brood nectar up in the top. Open queen cells. Looking for a queen, don't see one yet. Going for frame number five. All nectar. No queen. Far side, some capped brood. Looking for a queen. Don't see any. It's got honey capped up in the corners. I'm wearing shorts today and I have bees crawling on my ankles. That's such a funny feeling. A lot of uncapped in here looking for a queen. Looking for a young lady. Because if I have one, she just emerged out. Don't see any. No queen. Last frame. Nectar. Nothing else. Empty on the far side. So not sure what's going on in this one. Again, they have some hatched out queen cells, so it's possible that the queen is out getting mated or all kinds of things. So gotta put it together and not get excited about it. Let it go. Actually, solid, so it's okay. okay. All right, that's what we got going on. We're gonna leave him be. Check on him again next week, see how they're doing.